Hey there photography enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. We have something truly incredible to share with you. We'll be taking an in-depth look at PhotoKit, a game-changing collection of tools designed to elevate your photography skills. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any of our exciting tech reviews. Well, so here is the PhotoKit browser. So what exactly is PhotoKit? It's a comprehensive bundle of photo editing and enhancement tools. Whether you're a seasoned photographer or just starting out, this is designed to make your photos stand out from the crowd. So let's take a closer look. So to start off with PhotoKit guys, we're gonna click on the three stripes on the upper right, right corner. And then we're gonna select start editing and the PhotoKit editor will now load. So guys, here is the VIP unlimited access. And as you can see, if I want to buy the VIP unlimited access, First, we're going to have to type down our email, then click continue. And here is the PhotoKit VIP, guys. If we want the 30 days VIP package, then we're going to have to pay $10. And for one year VIP package, we're going to have to pay uh, $30, which is $29.99. And if we want it for lifetime, then our budget will be $99.99, which is almost $100. So let's check out uh, any lifetime deals running on PhotoKit or not. Photo kit lifetime deal. So we have Dealify, uh, Photo kit uh, lifetime subscription stack social, and then we have Deal Mirror, and after that we have AppSumo. All right, let's try out these. So starting off with Dealify, Dealify is providing it in $69, so we'll be saving around $30 and it's risk-free you, your purchase is backed by 30-day credit back guarantee so if you don't like the application in 30 days you can just get your credits back no problem here now we have deal mirror and then we have stack social so in stack social it's 48.99 so we are saving around 50 51 dollars because the main pack is $100, not $259, okay? So it's $100 in the website now, so we are, be, we are gonna be saving $51. But a problem is that there is no uh, money back guarantee here, so after purchasing the application, you're just stuck with it and uh, you don't get to try out the VIP membership of the application. So uh, since you're not getting money back guarantee, you're paying a little less. And then we have a deal mirror. And Deal Mirror is also providing it at $69, which is gonna save us $31. 60 days, 100% money back guarantee, which is pretty cool. So we can get, we can, we have 60 days of time, which is twice than Dealify. So we would not want this, and we, we could get this because it's also providing us in cheap value. And $69 for two months is a great value guys i mean you can check out the tool for two months which is really amazing and now let's go to appsumo as you can see appsumo is also providing it on 69 dollars well at least they are honest 129 dollars near but actually it's going to be 100 dollars. and let's see if they have any money back guarantee on it well they do have it as you can see 60 day money back guarantee try it out for two months to make sure it's right for you and it's also written here only one code and you can try it out for two months so these are the these are the places where we should buy the application i will provide a link down below in the description be sure to check that out and also please subscribe to our channel for more great applications like these so let's dive right into our photo editor I'm just going to close those windows and close this one too. So open a photo. Now let's open up this photo. So what do we have here? Let's try out cutout. Well, the cutout should remove background and cut out our character. Well, you need strong network, I guess. So here it is. We have cut out our character from the main image, which is pretty cool and awesome. So you can just cut out your main character, main subject from the frame, and it's just really easy to do it. And I'm, I don't want to cut him, cut him out at the moment, or maybe I do. Well, I will cut him out. Okay. Then we can set background, as you can see, white, brownish. Well, if I set this background, uh, the skin color is not uh, recognizable. All right, this background was uh, here in the first place. Okay, so it wasn't here, but. Well, let's cancel it. We know what cutout does. Then we have in paint. So let's see what in paint does. 
We're just gonna zoom the image a little. The InPaint is doing its tricks. As you can see, that's what InPaint has done. It has removed, it has removed the hand of our character. Back and forth. So InPaint has removed the hand of our character which we didn't want it to do. Uh, I don't know what else in paint does. So let's go ahead and try it with his head. He's just gonna remove his head. So all right, here we go. All right, so in paint is just removing the head. I mean, removing any object that you select in paint will remove it. Okay, so we know what in print does. Now we can smooth out the image with smooth option now, as you can see the image has been smoothed out and we're gonna check with the previous version and the current version as you can see we had quite sharpness in its face and uh, hairs but then it would be smoothened out as you can see but I don't like the smoothened out version uh, the teeth are not looking so good I just want the real version here and clarity is for those pictures that are blurry you don't want it to be blurry then you can select clarity to get the blurriness out and then we have exposure. So any overexposed or underexposed images uh, will be fixed with the exposure fixing menu. All right, so let's see what our image has become after selecting exposure. So our image was a little underexposed. So after selecting the exposure, it has been optimized with more exposure and now it looks better than before. All right, so then we have balance. All right, so let's see what happens after we have clicked balance. As you can see, after clicking on balance, the image has more colors and of course it looks better. So I'm going to keep this one. And then we have correction, angle correction uh, for more clearness. So here is the angle correction and I don't think the angle correction is looking so good. Well, as you can see, this is the first image and after angle correction, the image is looking like this. Well, the head is not looking good. The hand is not looking good and I don't think the angle correction was correct. So this time I, I just uh, can't agree with the angle corrections automatic mode. So I'll just undo it. Now let's go move to effects. So here we can choose effects for our photo. As you can see there are lots of effects to choose from. Well these effects kind of remind me of Prisma back in 2020, 2015. Well the Prisma application used to have these kinds of filters in 2015. Well, nice to have them back all these year after. All right, so I don't want any effects. I'm just showing you guys. So let's just see all the effects that are here. Well, some of the effects are good, like this one. Or this one. Well, old horror. So we'll edge. X-rays. Waves yellow blue all right so we have seen all the effects now let's go back i mean let's go <laughs> move forward we're gonna try pellets <clears throat> all right so what does pellets do well it's not working i mean it's working but it's quite uh, slow i guess as you can see guys i'm clicking on them but it's not working i think this palette mode is in beta beta stage of the application as you can see i have clicked it very early on and it's working like after 10 to 15 seconds so i'm just going to close this i'm not staying here anymore all right so this needs improvement palettes need improvement it's in beta stage and then we have style all right so the style is mixing images let me try it so uh, we're going to mix this image with the fire and let's see what we get all right guys so uh, as you can see our processing is done and here we go we have the processed image which looks kind of like this this image with the fire image and uh, we're gonna try and uh, mixing up this image with another one. Let's see how it happens with these two images. All right, so now we're gonna check. So as you can see guys, our image processing is almost done. And look how it becomes after combining those two images. Well, it comes something like this and it doesn't look uh, good at all. So I would suggest adding some effects, not adding two images together because this effect was not good, but the previous effect was good. So moving on, to uh, we checked out style, now let's check out filters. So in filter mode, we have black and white, sapphire, invert, 
Well, I think the filters are stacking. Well, I've never seen stackable filters. So here the filters are stackable. Well, this is pretty cool. Let me stack some vintage filters together and look what we got. Well, we get something bad and now something, yeah, this filter is now looking good. Stacking two filters. And what is this? We are able to stack double filters at the same time. All right, we don't want that. So, well, it's stuck here, I guess. No. So if I insert this filter and... All right, guys, so now we are gonna check out the filter. As you can see, if I click on the filter and now the filter is gone when I click on the cross. But if I click on the filter and on the outside of the cross, on filter again, the filter is restacking. But if I click cross, only one stack of filter is going away. But how do I get rid of all the stacks? Well, there is no way. So I would probably say it's another bug here. So we're gonna cancel it and move on. Then we have a sketch. Now let's see how sketch option works with images. As you can see, the sketch option works pretty cool. And when you place the background, OMG, it looks pretty dope, guys. As you can see, the sketch option is really amazing. All right, applause for the sketch option because it works really cool. And let's go to the cartoon. I think working with the, I will get back to the cartoon with the main image, okay, guys? Now let's go ahead and all right, then we have blur, uh, desaturation, blur, mosaic, eraser. Well, that's something I want to try out. So let's zoom our image a little bit. Oops, that was a misclick. All right, so first of all, we're going to zoom the image a little. And then we're going to select the bigger size brush and then try out the eraser. All right, so the eraser is just erasing our entire image. So the fact is, I don't know what's the difference between the eraser and the in paint. Well, let's find out. What right now? Well, the in paint doesn't entirely remove it, but the eraser is removing the entire thing. Well, here's the difference. So, and now we're gonna move on to the magic eraser. I don't know how this works. I mean, drag and drop, I don't think anything's appearing. All right, so we're gonna drag from this end to this end, let's see. Well, nothing is changing, guys, though I believe, oh, oh, something has changed, guys. As you can see, magic eraser, here we go. Well, it's erasing the entire photo and making it worse, so magic eraser is not trustable. And now let's get back to our main image. And now we're going to try the eraser again on our main image. So let's go ahead and try the glass. Let's see how it affects the main image. Well, that's weird. <laughs> it's removing the entire picture, guys. Well, so the eraser is not something to trust. Well, when you have background, then how about we don't remove background? Mm. So I have deselected the background. So now the background might not get removed, okay? Well, now that's cool. Now nothing is being removed. So how about the hairs on the outer side? Can those be removed? Well, I don't see the hair removing hair being removed on the outer side, so I don't actually know what the eraser is removing this time. It might be something that I have placed. It could remove something like that, or like these things, uh, background. Like if we add text, shapes, or stickers, maybe those things can be used to with erasers. So let's try out with a sticker. We're gonna add stars. Well. Why not? Let's add this star. We're going to zoom the star in and place the star on his teeth. All right, the teeth is shining. Okay, pretty good. We're going to apply it, close it, and now we're going to try the eraser again. Zooming in to his teeth. Now let's try it. So as you can see guys, the part I have selected has been removed and if I draw another line with the middle, that part will be removed. So the eraser is controlling, I mean erasing those things that we have added later on. So when we make the image become a sketch, it determines that we have added the sketch later on. So now we're going to try and paint with the thing that we have added. So let's see. Well, it's just glorifying the image. No problem. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try cartoonization. Let's make a cartoon out of it. So here we go. 
As you can see, the carbon looks quite amazing. Well, not quite so. What happens if we do cartoon again? Well, it's going to make another cartoon here. So here we go, two cartoon stacks. One stack, two stack, one stack, zero stack. So guys, as you can see, you can do a lot with your photo kit and take your photography skill to the next level. There you have it, our comprehensive review of photo kit. Whether you're a professional photographer or a hobbyist, this bundle is a must have in your photography toolkit. If you enjoyed this video and found our review helpful, give it a thumbs up and also let us know your thoughts below in the comments. Also, if you have already tried the photo kits, then we would love to hear about your experience. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews, photography tips and everything in between. Until next time, keep capturing those breathtaking moments.